friends. So today what we are going to do is we are going to draw a Greek vase. Okay, so let's see the supplies that we need. We need crayons. We need a, a full paper, but we need to cut it in two halves. Okay, so it is uh, cut in half. Then I have my eraser. You also need a black marker. It doesn't matter whether it's a permanent marker or a regular marker. You just need a black marker. I'll be using my scissors today and some type of glue. Let's talk about what we are going to draw today. Okay, so we are going to draw Greek or we can call Greek or Roman. Bases, okay. So these, there is a name for these rays. They are called amphora bases. Okay, these the specialty about these bases um, are are like uh, they have two handles. Okay, so they have two handle bases with a neck that is narrow than the body. So. Um, you can see this vases they have they started making these vases way back in the 14th century and they were made people they used to make these in large numbers and do you know why they needed this in large numbers these vases were used to store oil sometimes wine sometimes water and sometimes even grains and uh, olives okay so the height of this you'd be wondering how tall these vases are right so these uh, vases used to be like uh, like one to five feet tall so because depending on what you're storing if you're storing something um, that is like wine or like oil you need a short one but if you are storing grains in large quantity you need a tall vase right so um, that is how they are and then these vases are not just plain vases they were painted with black designs and um, sometimes they were uh, they had like um, what do you say like uh, people like stylized people or um, they had human figures uh, added to the design okay so um, mostly it was just um, patterns geometric patterns um, but later they in uh, some of the vases like um, later on when they figured out how to <clears throat> make these vases better uh, like add more beautiful designs it's like when we start doing art um, the first lessons would be simple right we are learning and then the more you learn you know more techniques to uh, do art the same way in the early time they had simple patterns and then when they became experts in this um, pottery making or pottery designs they moved on to uh, adding animals and human figures okay mostly the surface is red and the, they used to add black paint to the figures or to the designs okay so um usually these drawn scenes used to tell a story or an event okay so let's now um get to the lesson okay. so what we'll be doing is um we are not going to uh, do uh, much of um drawing on the whiteboard so i'm going to just move this away and then let's take the paper which we are going to draw the pattern so or maybe i'll show the patterns on the whiteboard so first let's uh, fold this paper in half one of the papers i'm going to fold it in half okay so this is how it is 
and we are just going to draw one half of the um, ways and then when we cut it and then open you'll get both the halves both a, a full waist right so i'm going to just show you a few uh shapes that we can draw like so oh so it's like like that one way Let's make it a narrower one. Maybe this one is for oil or water, storing water. We don't really have this line here. Okay. Now let's draw another one. Okay, then let's add the handles. Okay, one last one. Both sides should be the same. Yeah, almost the same now. Got it? So these are the uh, four patterns or if you can think of another pattern or if you can Google uh, Greek vases, you'll be able to see more. Um, but these vases we are going to, all the vases that we're going to try are going to, we're going to add a handle to it. Okay. So I'm going to start with my waist so i'm going to so when i'm drawing see that you start from the folded side otherwise you're going to get two pieces okay keep that in mind i'm going to leave like three finger space on top and then i'm going to draw a line like that it can fit two fingers you don't have to uh, do the exact same design that i'm drawing Okay, so keep in mind that you add the, and don't, so there is like two finger space on the bottom and three finger space on the top. And I'm going almost to the edge of the paper. It's like only one finger space here. So it's a big ways or pot that I'm making. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. So see, uh, I started from the fold, okay? And then I'm going to cut this out. I'm just, I made a snip here and then I'm going to cut this part off. And now when I open, I have a waist or a pot or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to take this paper and then glue it on this one. So maybe I'll glue it the other way.
it would have been easier if you had a brown paper but it's okay so i'm going to glue it down leaving like one finger space on the bottom now i'm going to outline my waist and then we will talk about the different patterns or designs we can put on this okay So because we uh, cut this this way, this part has um, symmetry also. I'm outlining this right now so that you guys can see the shape. Otherwise, uh, on top of a white paper, it is difficult to see the shape, right? Now, what we can do is we can divide this into different sections. Um, maybe here one line two small lines i'm going to put another one here okay so Maybe here I'm going to another one. So I just uh, sectioned it up to put up different um, designs. Now I'm going to show you some um designs waist designs that you can put on the put on your uh, inside your waist okay so one design that you can put inside so i'm just going to make some sections inside the section i can show right so one design you can do is like that it's like a what is it it's like a if you look at this way it is like a l um, side, sideways l or upside down l okay so that is one design that they you usually see another design you see is like this so these are all thicker lines okay you need to make the lines thicker when you make this then you can do this and again, this whole thing would be colored in, like and this part will be plain like that. Another design is this, like a water. Okay then like this oh. and then the next one maybe so let me check if i can see some other patterns Yeah, maybe you can even do this also. Okay. On the, so let's pick some of this. Oh, another pattern. So I've shown, that I'm going to erase one or two and then fill in another bands. So you can also do this way. 
okay another one can be because there's no space i'm just erasing the ones that i have shown like leaves and again the leaves would be colored in okay so let's try out these designs you don't have to use all the designs <coughs> but whatever design you want to add let's add and see okay so first add the lines that i showed i'm going to go over this black you can start uh, making the design with the um pencil and then go over with the marker or you can do it directly with the marker so let me Just adding a little bit more here to fill this big space. Maybe I should use my thicker marker. Make the patterns a um, little big so that we can color inside, okay? I'm going to stop with these much patterns and then I'm going to start coloring this now. Okay, so let's take our crayons. So I'm going to first um, make color in all the places that I'm going to make it black before I start using the crayon. So then they, the only two colors that you would see on this part of uh, oasis are like um, black and uh, dark brown color. Sometimes they have colored this in white, but mostly it is uh, these two colors so we are going to stick to if you want a white vase also you can just use white and black but um, I'm going to just use um, brown and black okay so these are the we are not using other colors because we would like to we are imitating these um, vases the Greek vases okay Depending on the color of the clay that you use, you get the, the whatever you make with the clay would look that color, okay? And if you glaze it, then of course it would change into whatever color you want. So they used to just uh, put black on theirs and then just um, leave it with the natural 
uh, color of the clay. So the clay comes in like there are red clays, there are reddish brown clays and there are this um, white clays, right? So this clay that they used in Greece or in Rome during those times were this brown, uh, reddish brown clay. So we are going to just use that color. I'm just thickening the lines. So you could see the patterns really well because the lines when we make with the marker uh, the first time it won't be that uh, this is not a thick uh, point right this is a fine point marker so you need to do this like at least two three times to thicken it thicken the lines. I'm not covering the whole uh, part or the waist with design. Leaving some areas going to be drawn. Okay. Maybe here. You could use any of the shapes or the patterns that we tried. Okay, so the ways is um, wherever I need to use black, I have used. Now I'm going to take my uh, brown and then I'm going to color. And maybe you could just put a little bit of a red also in it. To give get the reddish brown color maybe after i'm done using brown i'll put some red try not to go outside the lines and don't color here inside the handle some outside because it's black that we are used for the background uh, for the rest of the uh, part even if some brown gets outside you don't have to be that careful right Black is the super dark color, right? So you, um, there is no chance you would be able to see brown. You would only be seeing black where black is supposed to be. So what do you think we can store in this? ways of the part thing because it is um not that it is not that small mouth it's like medium sized mouth right so maybe we can store in water or oil 
or even some type of grains can be stored in this. Let me take my red. A red should not overpower, it should be uh, used lightly, okay? Turn the paper wherever you need to turn it. almost a reddish brown now right so that is fine now let's um we don't want this to look like it is floating in the air i'm going to draw a horizon line okay maybe a, a bit of shadow going to color the whatever color you want for the background you can go ahead and use that I'm going to use blue lightly because we want the um, the ways to stand out we don't want the background to stand out so I'm just putting the color lightly Now for here, maybe I'll just use black lightly. Maybe it's on the floor. You can use whatever color you want again. I'm just putting a little more black in this area than this area to show that that is the shadow okay so um that is done so if hope you had fun making this um greek ways and designing this uh greek wigs of yours with me i had a lot of fun so till we meet next time bye bye